Welcome to Bitfumes and let me introduce you with an official package of Laravel which is called Laravel Horizon. This is a great package and let's first quickly get started with this package by using this composer command to have this inside our Laravel application. So here is a fresh installation of Laravel and I will say composer require Laravel slash horizon. So this package is very useful when you are using queues with queue driver as redis so it provide a beautiful dashboard and some configuration for your laravel power redis queue so very important thing is you need to use queue driver as redis this package provides this kind of cool dashboard where you can have number of jobs number of failed job number of processes and you can also retry some failed job but let's first see why we need this kind of package so yeah it is installed so here i am and i will create a simple notification so make notification called user notification and this notification is just a simple notification which is sending an email to a user so i will open web.php file and here i will go and send this notification to our user so find with the id of one and notify user notify with new notify user notification okay so we need to grab this user also and at last we are going to return simply done so i have already configured my env file so with the test database and inside our test database we also have a one user with the id of one this means if i start the server and if I go to localhost 8000 like this, you will see it is taking long time. And by the way, I also have configured this mail trap on our .env file. So here you can see I have configured. So it always take time. So even if I have once more refresh, it take time to send an email because it's processing the sending part, email sending part. And now we have the two email. We can make this sending of email or sending notification in a queue. So I will open notify user and here we just need to say simply implementing. So like implements should queue. Just by using this, we have now moved this notification into queue. Okay, so if I refresh this page, still it is taking time because now if i go and on this env file i said that queue connection is sync so this means it is syncing the queue we need to change it to redis because now we want the queue to be used by redis once more restart the server and refresh this page and you can see instantly it's giving error because Laravel by default uses PHP Redis. So either you can install PHP Redis or P Redis. So once more go to Laravel documentation and on this documentation you can search for Redis and on this Redis part you can see we can you either use P Redis or PHP Redis. But I personally like P Redis and it is very easy because it is also given here. So you need to run this command composer command. So let's stop the server run this composer command. Finally our P Redis is installed. So now once more we can start the server and go to localhost 8000 refresh this page and still we are getting this error but why we are getting this error because we need to tell to laravel that laravel don't use php redis you need to use the p redis how we can do that for that we need to go to the configuration of redis so let's go and here inside config we have a database part inside this database at the last we can see we have this uh, redis part and redis is using php redis you can simply define it on env file so instead of doing this from here i will go here and define redis client so like here redis client is p redis very nice we have made changes in env file so we need to restart the server and one more try 
and this time with no error and super quickly no delay we have moved our email into this queues but once more if i delete everything from here refresh this page you can see we don't have any email this means our queues are not processed so how we can generally process so we can say php artisan queue work and then if i do this yes now i'm having the email because now these notification are processed that's good but now comes our laravel horizon so let's now continue our installation of laravel horizon so we have installed it via this composer command but we need to run this command to install its assets so i will stop this queue worker and then i will say php artisan horizon colon install so it has done three things published the service provider some assets and the configuration so let's start with the configuration on this config folder we have this horizon configuration and in this horizon configuration the unique thing you can see we have this path which is horizon this means if you have server running, you can simply go on localhost 8000 slash horizon and then you can see you have a cool dashboard and instantly you can see it has picked two jobs because previously we have ran two jobs without using queue worker and this means so we can simply see the recent job and other things like monitor and metrics but from where this dashboard came from the ui came from so you can see we have published the assets so we have the assets inside public vendor assets this is just for all the ui it is made over vue.js and this is because of that one more thing we have published is service provider which is inside app provider and horizon service provider so in this horizon service provider we have a boot method and a gate method so you can see generally we can access this horizon route even if i am not logged in but when you want to give access to this horizon dashboard just to one or two people you can just define the email here like this and then the user with this email id when they are logged in then only they can able to access this route otherwise they will get 404 that's a simple configuration kind of things related to horizon but more is inside this horizon configuration file so we have seen that path next is it is going to use the connection so default connection of redis and this by default prefix everything related to your application with horizon colon if you want to make changes in this you need to give this information inside your dot env file and we can prove this also so i will go here and i will say redis cli and if you don't have redis you can simply say brew install redis if you are using mac and for window you can i think you can simply find it so redis cli and in this you can simply say keys and asterisk. you can see we have this horizon job notifier user and last snapshot this is just because of this horizon and this is actually the prefix we have we are talking about here that's cool then middleware and wait time then the most important thing here is this environment so we have this production environment and local environment so let's talk about these things first so what about the previous two jobs we have put inside the queue so even if i go on localhost 8000 it's processed it processed the notification but we are not getting any email inside our mail trap so you can see we don't have any email say it was eight minutes ago okay so to process the queue on this redis with the help of horizon what you need to do you need to run the command which is php artisan horizon so it's just like you run command php artisan q work similar to that we are using php artisan horizon so horizon started successfully and this means now we can see it is now converted to active so our dashboard is 
active cool so now because it is active you can see now what one previous notification is processed and once more if I clear this and refresh this page you can see now it says four in the past one in the minute and it is now processed so it is very very cool and you can actually check the failed job so how we can check the failed job how we can fail a job one crazy thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to say uh, firstly inside tinker so php artisan tinker and i will say hey tinker create 50 user for me okay so now we have a 50 user inside our database and this means now i can simply say grab me every user and for each user notify user very nice so let's see what's going to happen this is going to be very very interesting so now if i say refresh this page instantly we are getting done but now we have 55 jobs 50 for now and 5 for, for the previous one so you can see it says 45 jobs are in queue it's currently actually working 4 and then 8 are failed because we have too much of jobs and we have just 3 processes so while this is processing let's go once again to the horizon configuration and you can see we can define the number of process so currently we have three processes and we have one retry that's why failed job comes here because they are just retried once so if i go to the failed jobs you can see we have a retry button so if i click here it's now retrying this so that's cool and now totally we have 35 and still four are inside the processes now total zero and if i refresh out of 50 40 jobs are failed mm, this is not good so you can see we just have 10 email here so once again clear this and now what i'm going to do i'm going to make processes as 10 and retry as 5 and whenever you made change in horizon configuration you need to restart the horizon this is very important whenever you made changes in horizon or even in your notification you need to restart this horizon process okay so for the sake of safetyness i'm also going to restart the server okay so we have 56 jobs here 40 are failed and now because we have restarted it's picked up that we are working with 10 processes cool refresh this page and now we have 107 task and after completion you can see we have total 75 failed previously it was 40 and now it is 75 that means 35 still failing okay one more configuration you can do is like here it is defined that uh, yeah so you can give the balance as simple it is given balance as simple so you can also say auto so simple is very simple which configure it splits incoming job evenly into the process but if you say auto auto strategy adjust the number of worker processes per queue based on the current workload okay so i'm going to make it auto and then because we have made changes let's restart the horizon and now i'm going to say refresh and refreshing with that and now we have 158 jobs so 50 more is now added so now we have 110 failed job still having 35 failing but the processes took less time to processing all these queues so in that way you can actually define the last one which is false which is just a simple first come first out kind of things on notifications or in the queues so this is a simple demonstration of how you can use laravel horizon and how you can configure with different configurations there are some more things on this horizon like you can pause or continue or even terminate the horizon simply but in the next episode we are going to see how we can actually deploy this horizon and actually use this horizon on a 
server or you want to server with the supervisor as our client to run the php or artisan horizon command okay if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up and comment your views about laravel horizon is it a good when you have used and what makes you to use this package and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye